guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting ready to have a miniature Mardi Gras celebration. And so we are going to whip up a batch of French Quarter Benets and drink some of this uh, New Orleans chicory style coffee. So this is kind of a combination baking and uh, product review video. Now this coffee we um, have had before, we drink it actually throughout the year. It's from Southeast Grocers. And it says here that it is a rich, medium bodied, light roasted coffee blend with chicory that is supposed to be balanced in acidity and body. And it actually is, it's pretty good. We, um, like I said, drink it a lot. So I'm going to have that with the beignets. Of course, once I cook the beignets, this is what you'll need to make them if you'd like to follow along. It's uh, one and a half cups of lukewarm water, one cup of evaporated milk, two eggs lightly beaten, half a cup of granulated sugar, one and a fourth teaspoon of salt, one package of active dry yeast, seven cups of bread flour, one and a half cups of shortening, three cups of confectioner's sugar, frying oil, and nonstick spray. So I am going to go ahead and uh, take a couple sips of my coffee here and pull out the ingredients and get started. So this is a peek at my um, shorthand. Well, it's not really shorthand but it's instructions on how to continue making the beignets. You put the water, sugar, and yeast in one bowl and let it sit for 10 minutes. So I'm doing that now. And you can see there's a package of the active dry yeast. There's my sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that together. All right, so I'm gonna stir that up a little. And next we have to add eggs, salt, and evaporated milk into this mixture. But first we have to let it sit, like I said, for 10 minutes. So I'm going to stir that up. I've already set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. And I'm going to check back with you in just a bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and measure out the uh, milk and eggs and salt so that it's ready. All right, I'm still waiting for the timer to go off. I already have the eggs and salt in the measuring cup and I've popped open the evaporated milk. So we'll pour that in when it's time. You can see the yeast is working with the sugar. And once that's done, and I add the egg, milk, and salt mixture in there into the yeast mixture, I have to go ahead and take three cups of flour, about three cups, and add that in there as well. Now, as you can see, I measured out the full seven cups of flour sitting over there and it's just waiting for me to put it in there. Once I put the three cups in and mix it around, then I have to add in the shortening and then, of course, the remaining flour, and then comes the kneading process. Then we'll have to put it in a nonstick bowl, cover it, and let it rise for about two hours. After it's risen for two hours, we can go ahead and fry the beignets and then shake them around in some powdered sugar and set them aside, and they'll be good to go with our coffee. All right, the timer has gone off, so I added the egg mixture and the evaporated milk into the yeast mixture, and now I'm mixing in about three cups of flour. You can see I have the rest of the flour sitting over there. So I'm do that. And then I go have to go ahead and add the shortening, and we need a half, I'm sorry, a fourth a cup of shortening. Now, this recipe isn't actually mine. I um, used the one off of uh, Food Network, the Paula Deen recipe. I find that it works out pretty well. So we'll just go ahead and go with her recipe. Okay, I guess that's turned in there good enough for now. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, shortening and put that in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add it. I'm using Crisco for my shortening. Put it in there and support the cup. All right, I went ahead and sprayed the bowl with some nonstick cooking spray. This is what the dough looks like for now. I'm gonna go ahead and take my rings off and dig right on in there and finish mixing it all together and kneading it as the recipe uh, dictates. All right, that's what our beignet dough looks like after it's been kneaded, mixed and kneaded. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cover it back up with a towel and let it rest on the kitchen counter by the window so we can get a little bit of sun and stay warm. It's about 10.30 now, so 10.30, 11.30, 11.30, 12.30, so about 12.30 should be uh, two hours worth of rise time, and we'll check on it then and see if it's ready to be fried. This is how the first batch came out, perfect. 
Dave Arnett. Ben Yang.